Hello everybody, my name is Rodrick and this is my never-ending back catalog of games and today's game is Dark Treasury. Dark Treasury is a pixel-based 2D casual RPG adventure game? Maybe, kind of, sort of, I'm not 100% positive. Actually, if we go take a look at the Steam page really quickly, we can see right here, <clears throat> Adventure Casual Pixel Graphics RPG 2D. The world is in danger. Someone opened up a portal to the other world from which an unknown evil escaped. You are a nameless warrior and your task is to set off a journey full of dangers to destroy the evil that breaks free, but will you succeed? I'm assuming this is the evil that breaks free right here. Yeah, that looks like a big evil boy. That looks like a big evil boy. You know what I'm noticing really quick? Your character is just standing in the middle of the screen the entire time. Oh, yeah, he does. So it's a game where the enemies come at you. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, it's sitting at a mostly positive uh, review on Steam. Released to Steam on February 1st, 2021 by Cuckoo's Production and Red Axe. Red Axe are the developers, anyways. Um, it's currently on sale for $1.49, though it looks like it's normally $4.99. So not too bad, not too bad. We'll take a look at the, the reviews here in a little bit. I kind of want to see what, what, what other stuff they've done. Brain Break. Desert of the Dead. Desert of the Dead actually looks pretty interesting there. We'll have to, we'll have to take a look at that um, near the end. So as you guys know, uh, we're going to go to Little Me. Um, do I not have... Oh yeah, there we go. It just it took a while to pop up. Anyways, uh, as you guys know, I am a First Impressions uh, YouTube channel. So I play the game, do a quick little First Impressions, anywhere from 10 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour sometimes. Uh, just depends on the type of the game that it is. Uh, and I, I just kind of, you know, do first impressions, kind of do like a blind first playthrough so people can kind of see, you know, what it's about, what, 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 what the, the initial stages of the game are about. We're going to go ahead and start. Um, we got some settings. Uh, we have, what are we in the settings? Sound and music. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Level one, uh, coin zero. We can do start and we can upgrade. Click on the button to improve level of the coins. Level for coins. To improve the level for coins. So it's 200 coins to get to the next level, I'm assuming. Which we do not have any coins. There's an old man here. This is our, our character here. Scarecrow, big old mushroom. Let's click start. Uh, click start if you're ready to go on. Go to the dungeon for treasure. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, hello. What do I do here? We died. Like, instantly. Um, what, what, what are the buttons? I thought it was... Wait. Is it not mouse buttons? What am I supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to be clicking on them? Yo, what am I supposed to be doing here? What are the what are the controls? Maybe it's like oh wait. Okay, it's like A A and D, I guess. I'm I'm like oh A and D, it's at the top. Okay. What in the world? How am I supposed to do this? Hold on. You die, like, instantaneously. Alright, am I supposed to tap it? Am I supposed to hold it? What am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> Why does it swing the opposite direction? I must be missing something. I hit him though. Okay, we, we made it past them. Now what? We have to like hold it. No! Oh my god. Did we get any coins for that? We got no coins, literally no coins. Okay. We we're just waiting here now. Move my mouse really quick. Um It's like you have to time it like just right. Well, now that I know, that's that's a little bit more interesting. Oh. We have to hit those guys multiple times? How do you live through that? We still have no coins. 
These they send these people out way too quickly at you. They send those people way too way too quickly. Okay. Why is there a stamina bar? This game didn't really explain much, did it? How are you supposed to protect against that? That's what I don't understand. We still have no coins, by the way. I don't think I'm bad at the game, am I? <laughs> Maybe I am? Uh, sound design could uh, use a little bit of work. The, uh, the sound isn't the greatest. Your sword swing sounded like extremely distant. There we go. Like that one I could actually take care of because there wasn't two people like ganging up on me on, from either side. Am I actually going to beat a level? Hey, there we go. If you return to the village, you will see, let's return to the village. 41 coins. Okay. And we start the dungeon over again. Dark Forest. Okay, so I think, I think everyone that's watching is getting the gist of the game now, right? I mean, I would hope so. We can, we can, we can multi-stack hits, that's nice. So if we continue forward, do we risk not getting anything? Like, if we continue on our way, if we die, do we not... Oh, look at these boys. We got Skelly Boys. The, you're, you're... It just sounds so distant. Like, your sword swing sounds so far away. Oh, come on! We only have 41 coins. I'm gonna do it one more time. Maybe I'll do it, maybe I'll do it until we get an upgrade, huh? Let's see what let's see what these upgrades are all about. Let's see what the upgrades do for you. Maybe some ranged attacks. Maybe you don't die instantly in one hit. I was expecting like a health bar on the character or something. Well that guy's hit me like twice, so. These little goblins, though, they look like gank ya. Where's the, where's the goblin slayer when you need them? So let's go back to the village. I, yo, I clicked back to the village. I 100% clicked back to the village. Yo, that's cheap. That's cheap. There was no way to defend against that. I mean, the game so far, I mean, I like this, I like the art style. I just wish the gameplay was a little bit more intuitive, you know? A little bit more responsive. Because you have to, like... Oh, you like, you really lose stamina pretty quick if you do it like that, though. Alright, we're gonna click. Back to the village. We didn't even get 41 coins that time. <laughs> I... We're gonna keep playing. We're gonna keep playing. Like, how did I die there? <sighs> I mean, uh... oh my god, there's no way. There was no way they came at you from both sides at the exact same time. The randomness of some of these enemies is just a little too much, you know? Just a little, just a tad bit too much. Just a little bit, just a little tiny bit. I didn't know how I was going to protect against that. If they if that went through, I would have been dead. Because there was a boy there and the boy there. They would have hit me at the exact same time. 
105 coins. 105 coins. Why am I not getting like no coins? All right. I'm going to see. I'm going to I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep playing until I get to that first freaking the next level upgrade. I want to see if it unlocks anything worthwhile. I don't know how to defend against that. I There's no way they came at you at the exact same time and your character can't maneuver that quickly to get both of them at the exact same time. Because you have to aim, and then you have to hold the button down and wait. Like, you have to hold A or D, and it, there's a huge, like, animation, so you have to actually wait for it to go and register and hit. Back to the village. We got a lot of money there. We got a lot of money there. Okay. Maybe we get money based on how many people we kill and survive. Maybe that's it. You got you just have to grind this first level up because I don't know how you how you'd kill the uh, skeletons because they just get all right up on top of you. So upgrading must give you some way to like a range attack. It's got to be like a range attack somewhere. And that would make use of your stamina bar a little bit more if you if you're going like range stuff. 171. Nice. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost at 200. We could potentially be at 200 after this one. Or maybe not. It depends. It could just be like a random amount of gold. Or I can just die here. Oh my god. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't die there. We got this. All right. <clears throat> Back to the village. 181. Come on. That was like no gold at all. Game. What are you doing to me? Okay. We're going to get it this time. <laughs> this is going to give me an upgrade. So I can see what the freaking upgrade system's like. Okay. All right, game. All right, dark, dark treasury. That's the game. The game is called Dark Treasury. Okay, please. Oh my God! It keeps giving me less and less and less. The closer we get to two hundred, a hundred. And 98. 198. I have to do another one. <sighs> oh my god, you're so quick, goblin. Stop it. I've gotten used to the goblin speed. These mu mushroom guys are a little off-putting, though. That was like a perfect clean hit, by the way. Back to the village. I clicked. Bullshit. I clicked back to the village. All right. I clicked back to the village. I clicked back to the village and it sent me to the next freaking section. <sighs> All right. That's fine. We're fine. Halfway through this level. We got a mushroom guy. Oh. Oh, God. All right. Don't die, please. They really wanted to kill me there. All right, look. Back to the village. They got me back. 235. Alright, upgrade. We're now level 2. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Let's go. Oh, we got Q as well. Oh, we have a kick. It gave us a kick. What do we need for the next upgrade? 250. What, what does a kick do? What? It's, it's the same thing as... It's the same thing as sword swing? 
Oh, the range is a little bit better. But it's the same thing as Sword Swing. I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. Alright, um... We are going to go and take a look at the Steam page, everyone. I'm so upset. I'm so upset by this game. I'm messing up my freaking... My freaking hoodie. Let's go take a look at the Steam page. Here we are. Dark Treasury. Um, oh, there's... What? It includes... Warm up your brain. Includes Steam Workshop. Oh, this game has Steam Workshop? What the heck? Oh no, they're showcasing their other game. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, bad game, two buttons and still barely works. Sprites aren't even cut out properly. Edit the these other reviews look suspicious at AF. Lots of interesting for such bare bones. Why are they all Russian? Why do they all review the same game? We may never know. Shady. <laughs> I'm guessing all thumbs up are friends with the dev since they are absolutely no fun in this game. There's absolutely no fun in this game. It's buggy. Nothing works correctly. The game is interesting to me with its simplicity and beauty of the pixel art. Since I was a kid, I loved playing games like Dark Treasury. This game plunged me into the past where I experienced the same feeling as then. The game is good. Pixel style graphics, just like menus. Soundtrack pleasing to the ears. What? Simple controls. The levels are very difficult where you have to sweat to reach the goal. Ferrum and the game... In the several hours of play, I played for two dozen hours myself and never got bored. I advise you to pull net that's pull nostalgizes those who also miss such games. What? Who are you? Okay. Vacman on record. Oh no. Anyways. I love pixel art. It associates me with my childhood and playing Sega Mega Drive. The game has simple menus, simple gameplay, and musical accompaniment. <laughs> it's not so easy to complete the game because here you have to stuff coins to become stronger, and this takes time. 7 out of 10. What? Uh, a beautiful slasher with nice graphics and decor. The game is made in the style of old school. Decent pixel graphics, simple soundtrack, but not quite familiar controls. Some kind of tower defense in 2D. Overall, good gym. Not everyone will like this game because there are no millions of enemies to controls and skills, but there is a boss. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I mean... I didn't like the sound. I didn't like... I don't know. It's not for me. It might be for you guys. It might be for you guys. If this game seems like it's interesting for you to play, it's it's a dollar forty nine right now until June seventh. Then it goes up to uh, four ninety nine. So that was Dark Treasury. Everyone, have a good one.